know what offsets are, do you? No, but let's find out on this episode of Machining 101. How you doing, Kenny? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm trying to figure out what offset is. I offset my hair this morning. I offset. Yeah, it is off to the side a bit. Yeah, the part was kind of offset. So I figured I'd try to come find you to find out what offsets are about. All right. Well, when we're talking machining, offsets are kind of a big deal. Kind of like you. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna make me blush. So offsets are related to your workpiece. And there's offsets for your tools. Really the only two things you gotta know for offsets. Tools and work pieces. So right now I have a screen pulled up for um, our work pieces. And on this Okuma machine, we have a hundred potential offsets we could use. And all work offsets really do is tell the machine where zero is on your part. Gotcha, so your work offset, you have a part, it needs to know the start and end point, basically? Yeah. I mean, is the right side positive or is my left side negative? Where is the zero on my part? So that way I can make the part to the print. So if that's one kind of offset for your actual part you're machining, what's the other kind of offset? Well, the other kind of offset is your tool offset. So your tool offset, your machine has a, um, a height value in here. And how else would your machine know if you have a, a drill that's 12 inches long or a, a stubby little end mill? Your machine doesn't have any clue until you teach it, hey, this is the end of the tool. Gotcha. So telling the machine in a, through an offset is telling your actual machine how far your tool is sticking out so it can actually know where to put the tool based on the offset for your workpiece? Exactly. Ah. Right. Otherwise, your machine wouldn't have a clue where the top of your part is, the bottom of your part is, the end of your tool is. Right. They, they both need to be set in order for you to be successful machining a part. So can you show me a little bit on how to do that? Absolutely. Talk to me, Kenny. What are we doing with this drill? So, Greg, we just put this drill in, and we need the machine to teach itself how long that is. Right now, it doesn't have a clue. So, luckily, this machine's got a nice touch probe on it, and all we're going to tell it to do is automatically find the length of that tool from it. All right, do you remember that MDI screen we were in before? I... We're going to go into MDI, and we're going to type G116. Enter, cycle start. This machine is going to touch that drill to that probe and put in the offset for it all by itself. Huh. It's actually that easy. So how does it not crash that tool over there? So it's actually going to come in nice and slow, and it's going to bump the uh, probe one time. It's going to back off and bump it again slower. So That probe is setting the offset for the length of that drill. Exactly. So it's going to put a value in that section right there. So this value, 7.258, what does that mean? We're getting a, a distance from the gauge line to the tip of that tool. That's what that number is. Gotcha. So now that we set our tool offset, is there any offsets that you have to do for your workpiece? Absolutely. So we're going to need to teach where the Z is on this part. So what's it doing now? We're doing a tool change to grab our probe. Ah. Hi, probe. So this probe can be used for many things. It can measure holes. It can give me offsets. It can find center lines. It can tell me how big a hole is. It can find edges on X, Y, or Z. So right now, we're going to set the offset for the Z axis with that probe. Correct. Gotcha. Whether you're used to a vertical having the, the spindle go down on Z, or if you're on a horizontal, I'm still going minus with my handle. The workpiece is still getting closer to the tool. There's really no difference. It's just how you look at it. So to teach a work offset on this machine, we have this awesome Renishaw Pro. We jog very close to where we're going to touch. 
and we're going to run a cool cycle. We start out in NBI. We get our Renishaw GUI. We we're going to set a Z minus work offset number one. Our work offset update value is zero because I'm going to touch where I want my zero to be. And my search distance is going to be, what do you think, an eighth inch? A little bit bigger. Yeah, 200 thousandths. Sounds about right. All right, we're going to create a cycle. And we're gonna hit cycle start. Essentially, you have to set your work offset and your tool offset if you want to make a part that actually looks like the print. Absolutely. You mean you very well could crash if you do not. So the, basically, <laughs> it's it's a must to make sure that you set your offsets. Absolutely. Any CNC machine, you're going to need to have correct offsets before you hit that rock and roll button. Are you the FNG in the shop? The fancy new guy? Well, I am too. Follow my journey and watch Machining 101, where Kenny teaches me everything I need to know about machining and manufacturing. Visit us at thepeoplemanufacturing.com for all you FNGs out there. This episode of Machining 101 was brought to you by Sunny's the Car Wash Factory. Sunny's is the largest conveyorized car wash manufacturer in the world. For more information, visit sunnysdirect.com. And that wraps up this episode of Machining 101, where we learned about offsets, your work offsets and your tool offsets. Without them, you're never going to make a good part. Thanks, Kenny.